we're going to talk about Facebook ads today. So first things first, I want to show you one of the coolest things that you may not know about. It's called the Facebook ad library. Facebook has now made public all of the ads anyone is running on any page. I just Googled Facebook ad library and I'm going to click ad library. See that? And here we go. So make sure that you select search all and now I can type it anyone. So you, you have to find the actual page name, which is kind of a pain when you do this, but here we go. And I can see all ads and here's an ad that he's running on his page. Here they are. What's cool is I can click on any of these, see ad details. I can see the full ad. Got it. And if I click it, I can actually see the landing page. So I can actually see how he actually squeezes the contact information. And if I go into the privacy policy, I could probably find out who runs the thing, like what system he sees using. The first thing that I would do is I'd make a list of your competitors, all right, maybe in your local market. And you could pretty much do that essentially by going to Zillow, type in agent finder, type in, I don't know, Omaha. And these are probably your top competitors of agents that you know with all of the ads that they're running. And maybe by going to their website and sleuthing around, you can figure out what the, their Facebook page name is, type it into the ad library and see what ads they're running and trying to figure out, you know, what's working for people. Let's go check out Open Door. Let's go check out the multi-million dollar players. So now I'm gonna go to the Facebook ad library. Let's type in Open Door. Ah, okay, Frank. Now we're talking. These are all the ads that Open Door is running with a multi-million dollar ad campaign across the country. Do you think they know maybe what type of copy works? What type of ad styles work? I bet you. Also, there's lots of companies in this space that run ads for you. You have Ylopo, Y-L-O-P-O. You have Commissions Inc. You have Real Geeks. You have Boomtown. If you happen to know of other agents that are using those platforms and you're curious to know what type of ads those companies are running, uh, just go on their Facebook page and take a look at the ads. Now, there's two different types of offers. The most common offer you're going to see are for buyer leads. This will be search for homes. Uh, see all homes for sale in this area, or you might see promoting a listing, like get more information on a listing. However, I want to share with you today what types of offers probably I would look at when you're trying to generate seller leads. So I have about five different types of Facebook ads that you could try for types of offers to put out to your warm audiences and everyone around town that Facebook will serve up that will generate you probably a name and phone number and email address of a homeowner. So 2A, this is going to be what they call top of the funnel, meaning it's like a funnel and the very top, these are kind of your lowest intent leads, is something to the effect for 2A is, you know, home prices are up here in the area. And if you're curious to know what your home is worth, you can click here and put your address in and find out what your home is worth. That's a home value ad. Next down the funnel is just some basic information about selling your home, probably a little bit better than find out what your home is worth, is if you're thinking about selling your home, get this book. Next down the funnel to get seller leads is a free list of trade-up homes. So for example, hey, is it time for you to upgrade to a home with four or five bedrooms? Is it time for you to a home with a pool? Are you sick of COVID? Get a list of all the homes for sale uh, to move up from your starter home. Now you may think that's a buyer lead. It is, because we're thinking about buying, but it's really actually a seller lead too because it's a list of trade up homes. You trade in your home and get a new one. So that list, even though it's a buyer lead, may actually need to sell their current home. <laughs> Point number 2D, a home selling workshop. Let me give you my favorite one that I recommend where you start. I just want to show you some of the ones that you'll see common that are out there is just get an offer on your house. Like get an offer on your home. That's what a home seller wants. And those tend to be more bottom of the funnel seller leads. So instead of slogging through a whole bunch that don't really want to sell, these leads actually want to sell. <laughs> So essentially, the type of ad that I recommend you run is something to the effect of, you know, hey, do you want to skip the stress and the hassle of a traditional sale? Well, get an instant offer or get a fast offer on your home. Enter your information. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Frank, how do I do that? Well, generally what the trend is, your brokerage, ideally, or yourself, needs to partner with investors or iBuyers. So uh, there's a couple services you can check out. For those of you with eXp, you have Express Offers. That's something that's offered by your brokerage. I think Keller Williams has Keller Offers and that keeps changes back and forth. But a lot of brokers have some type of instant offer proposition, allowing you to run some type of, you know, get an instant offer or get a guaranteed offer, uh, call to action ethically. 
If you don't have one, go check out a service called Zavi. Zavi will sell to your brokerage and they have buyers in their platform all over the country. So you actually can run ads saying, I have a buyer all the time. You can also go to iRealEstatePro. They specialize in providing institutional buyers for you to back up offers. Now, they aren't full market value, but that's fine. Let the consumer choose. They want to know all their options. What I'm getting at is the strongest offer you could put to the marketplace is get a guaranteed offer, or I can get you an instant, easy, quick, painless, hassle-free, magical offer on your house.